Hey, y'all, we're down here at the Bug Junkie Farm. Me and Mikey hanging out early this morning, fixing to do a little deer processing. Y'all know we like to hunt these deer, but we also like to eat them. We're going to show you how we make deer breakfast sausage. Ain't that right, Mike? That's right. So with this breakfast sausage we make out of deer meat, we like to keep it about 70-30. It's not full fat, but you got to have some fat for some moisture in that and for some flavor. Now what Mikey did was we cubed up hind quarters off a of big old nanny dough that we shot. We like to go ahead, get most of the sinew, anything that's undesirable off of it and cut it into chunks. And then we freeze it. My mom and dad slaughtered a hog this year. She was kind enough to give me some of the fat and it's gonna be perfect in this breakfast sausage. But Mikey, first we wanna go ahead and combine the lean meat with the fat. Go ahead and get it mixed up. You wanna keep the meat cold. That's the whole thing while we're doing this. This meat came out of the freezer yesterday. We let it sit in the refrigerator refrigerator to start thawing, but we want to keep it as cold as possible when we're grinding it. So hey, the end of deer season is a great time to process some of that deer meat that you put in the freezer. So now we're ready for that country sausage seasoning. There's all kinds of country sausage out on the market. You can find whatever kind you like. I like this blend. We use it all the time and we're going to just toss it back. <laughs> I had to choke you, Mikey. That'll mm. get in your nostrils. <laughs> sure will. <laughs> How to get in there, one of Mikey? Mm, it will. Good pepper, that sage. It ain't no joke. Really, when you mix this, just kind of grab from the bottom and pick up the meat on the bottom, and just set it back on top. And that way, you're kind of coating everything. Now we're gonna add just a little bit more because I like mine extra sagey and spicy. That ought to be good. Season your meat. That's the number one thing to take away from this. We don't want bland tasting sausage. So this is what you want, just a good even distribution of fats mixed in with our lean meat. We got it coated in the seasoning. Now. The first grind is gonna be through our bigger die plate. We're gonna do a double grind sausage to get our consistency right. We're gonna run all this meat through the grinder with the large holes, and then we're gonna swap them out and do it again with the small holes. Listen to that horsepower. Don't put your hands down in there, please. It has a plunger, it has a guard, and you can see it don't take no time for it to run that meat right through that blade. You see the fat distribution in it? Jimmy Dean's got nothing on Mikey's Bug Junkie sauce. That was about a pound of meat. It might even be a little more than that. It's, that'll meet your maker went through that thing in just seconds. It didn't take long. It smells good, Mikey. I can smell that sage. Gee, we get this done, we'll have time to deer hunt this evening, Malcolm. It ain't gonna take long. I need me another sausage dough, don't you? I do too. I ain't judgmental. Big dough, little dough, but I don't care. I ain't eating the horn. I can eat a lot of hind quarter ground up into sausage. So now we've done ground up all our meat. We done changed out tubs. Now I gotta change the heads out. We did a coarse grind that first time. Now we're fixing to get a fine grind on this. Before you do this, always make sure the freaking thing is unplugged. Do not do this with it plugged up. You can still lose a finger. All right, we're fixing to get this Fine grind going, change the plates out, cut this bad boy on and start loading her up. Now we're going for the consistency we want. Get a finer grind, better fat distribution. You can see as it's coming out, looks just like the store-bought stuff. But it disperses the seasoning. It gets the fat to lean ratio just right on the second grind. It's ready for the frying pan after this. I'll tell you what, Malcolm, we get fired from this job, we can always go work for Jimmy Dean or Tennessee Pride or somebody. <laughs> We can grind, Mikey. One thing we can do is grind. This is what we got. A whole meat lug full of deer breakfast sausage. We're gonna pass it off to Mark and Jamie. They're gonna take it inside, show y'all how we put it up to get ready to store it in the freezer so we can eat on this all year long. All right, so Malcolm and Mikey showed y'all how we made our deer breakfast sausage. Now it's mine and Jamie's turn to get it vacuum sealed so we can get ready to store it for a year long use. We got them in our vacuum sealed bags. This is about a pound to a pound and a half ball we roll up and we're gonna chamber vac it. So you can tell these bags here are a little bit different from your standard vacuum sealed bags. You don't use the perforated bags like you do with your regular vacuum sealer. So we'll get these placed in here, get it in place. And all you have to do on this is close the lid. It's gonna start vacuuming. So basically we have it set up to where it pulls the vacuum for 30 seconds and then it'll seal the bag for three seconds. So it's gonna run through that entire process. After 30 seconds, it's done pulled the vacuum. You're finna see it suck that bag flat. And then it's gonna seal the bag. Once it's done, the lid will automatically open. And then you got a perfectly sealed bag. Now what we like to do is take it and smash it flat. That doesn't take up much room in your freezer. You can take it, slide it in your door, and you can tell you get a couple of bags. That store's really easy. Man, one thing you can say, at deer camp, we do not go hungry. These sausage patties been cooking, they're very, very good. Malcolm and Mikey got the right mixture on the fat, the seasoning, they turned out very well. We just need some of Mark's gravy and some biscuits, and we have breakfast ready to go down here at deer camp.